continuing on with creating our main menu it is time to add some more buttons here so let's duplicate the play game one edit duplicate and let's rename it and call it quit and also rename it quit in the actual text let's move it down and maybe rotate it a little funkier away from the other one like this alright so let's play the game see how this looks pretty cool maybe move the quit just a little more to the left anyways alright so now as, uh, they have the same script attached so we need to know which one is the quit button and which one is the play game one so let's go back into our text control add a little variable up top var and this will be a boolean is quit button equals false by default save this go back into our editor and then our play game is not a quit button but our quit button is so I'm going to check this so for this one it's true for the other one it's not now we need to register if we're actually clicking on it or not so let's go back into our script and add another function on mouse up okay now you can do on mouse down but that means that as soon as the mouse is down it already goes to the next one and most of the times in most operating systems you can still hover your mouse out of a, a down movement so you really want to code it on the mouse up just for user interface sake okay so from here we can check if we're dealing with a quit button or not so let's add a comment are we dealing with a quit button if is quit button that means it's true so we can add some code here quit the game and if it's not meaning else then we load level okay now loading levels and actually quitting the application is pretty easy from unity the only thing you have to type is application dot load level or actually I'm sorry we're doing the quit button now and this is all application dot quit and then your your uh, little hoogy things here and then your semicolon and then else application dot load level and then we want to load level one now this will work just fine but you might be asking hey wait a minute how do I know what level one is and what isn't well there's something we need to do for that let's close this and in unity go to uh, edit and then go to uh, the build settings hold on it's actually under file and then build settings okay and this uh, shows you the build dialog of how we can build and export our game now what we need to do is drag the scenes that we want in there so we'll we'll drag our main menu in there we'll drag our our scene in there and the other ones they need to go uh, but they're disabled so that's fine and as you can see there's a number now main menu is zero and then our our uh, level is number one so after you drag them in so this these numbers correspond with the numbers in your script you can also use the name of your scene but then when you rename it you have to change your script so it's just best to use those numbers instead okay so let's close this and then our code should work from here if I hit the quit button nothing happens because I'm in the editor however if I hit play game it will load my level and look at this this looks like a real game doesn't it alright then now now it's time to export our game since our code works and we were happy with it we want to show our first build to our friends and we're thinking our friends are going to be all nice to us but they're going to be mean and um, say well this game really stinks because of this and that and that pretty much brings us back to the development table so that's how it usually goes and then uh, to do that go to file build and run and it will build your player okay so um, in this case I'm on a Mac so it will build a Mac player as you can see we have it right here let me just uh, go with 1024 by 768 in windowed mode pretty simple hit play and as you can see right now we have a standalone game running that shows our game now I can hit quit or play game 
and of course you'd have to add some code that when you're actually game over that you go back to the main menu alright so let me quit out of this if you however want to build for a different platform then just use the build menu the build settings one and then change it to web player or to windows or whatever you want in case you're running the iPhone version you can also add iPhone there so and this will save it on your hard drive and from there you can distribute it so very cool that's how to build a game I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial series thoroughly and uh, this pretty much concludes our look into game development uh, or at least the basics of it inside of unity of course there's a whole lot of things we could do we could replace the fireball with real fire we could add artificial intelligence we could add multiplayer we could do all kinds of stuff so we will have lots more tutorials coming so just keep tracking and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and um, you know have fun uh, if you make a game and you've been inspired by either this tutorial series of or you've learned uh, unity because of our tutorial series then I'd love for you to uh, add a video reply to uh, this video so that you can show your game project it doesn't have to be a game about the worm whatever game you make I'd love to see it hear about it know about it link to it and talk about it and Twitter about it so uh, you know add it as a uh, video reply to this one and uh, let me know how you're doing let me know uh, what your progress is I really liked explaining this and uh, I really would like to see your work as well alright so that's it so far and uh, we'll start up a new tutorial series uh, pretty soon I hope you enjoyed cheers bye